You have dreamt of this moment, haven't you? Getting selected and going to your medical college for the first time. Starting the journey as a med student, you have sacrificed a lot for this and now it's time to enjoy the fruits. Hi everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a third year MBBS student at Government Medical College, Nagpur. And I secured an All India rank of 885 in NEET 2018. Through this video, as your senior with experience of around three years, I'll shower some light upon some tips which will help you survive first year MBBS smoothly. As you can see, the timeline is beautifully divided into various parts. So feel free to skip around to any point that interests you the most. All right, so the first point is first academics. In academics, firstly, I want to tell you that get out of the post need inertia. Now, what is this post need inertia, if you ask me? So, after you've done with your need examination, you don't feel like studying a single word for about three or four months, and that usually makes you suffer in the end of first year. The reason is the books are very big, they are very bulky, and you won't even realize that the syllabus is going to come and eat you. And in the end, what happens is that when the exam approaches, you have to sit for like 15 or 17 hours at a stretch and then study. So, my suggestion would be to start studying from day one and get rid of the post need inertia which you might be feeling. The simple way to overcome it would be to just pick up a book and start reading. The book that I would suggest is reading any parts from anatomy which is one of the most difficult subjects you're gonna face in your entire MBBS and that is the subject which has been given to you in first year MBBS. Start off with general anatomy, learn the basics of what the body is made up of and gradually you can make your way over to gross anatomy. Alright so let us quickly look at how your schedule is going to be looking like in first year MBBS. From morning 9 to 10 you're gonna have one theory class, 10 to 11 another theory class, from 11 to 1 you will have any sort of practical, any practical that means dissection hall physiology or biochemistry or you might have histology so four basic types of practicals in your first year mbbs after that you'll have a break for one hour so from 1 to 2 pm there's a break from 2 to 4 you'll have another practical and from 4 to 5 you might have a last lecture of your college most of the times what happens in college people don't end up doing the second half of the college but please don't do that please attend the entire college because later in your life you're going to realize that oh wow the first year was the best year and the first year was the year where i should have probably attended all the college that i possibly could so as you can see this is a pretty hectic schedule and if you're living in hostel it increases further by a lot because there is a personality development program going on in the hostels in the night so it might get difficult for you. So where do you fit your studies in this difficult schedule that I just talked about? So you have to realize that once everything goes offline you won't have the luxury to sit at home every single day. So I suggest you utilize your weekends at max and use the weekends to study a lot in bursts. Just have a target okay I have to complete three or four chapters and that's your target for your entire weekend. You don't have to stress a lot about studies just studying at least one and a half hour every single day will give you sustainable results in the future. So what do you take away from this? First get out of the need inertia, post need inertia of course and second of all start studying even though it's a hectic schedule. Just find half an hour in the morning, find half an hour in the evening, half an hour in the night and you're done. That's all you have to study every single day and in the end you will achieve your goal. In the weekdays of course it is a bit difficult to study because of everything that is going on but make sure that you use your weekends and make them ultra productive especially the Saturdays and Sundays which is usually the off day for most colleges. Right so quickly just reviewing the books that you should use in first year MBBS. In all for the anatomy subject you're going to be encountering the first book that is BD Chaurasia. Apart from that, there is also Inder Beer Singh for associated minor subjects of anatomy. For physiology, I suggest you use Ganong or Gaitan. I personally liked Gaitan, but also AK Jain can be used. And for biochemistry, go 100% with Vasudevan only, along with Dr. Rajesh Jambulkarsal's notes that's going to cover you up for the entire year. Start reading from day one, start slowly. It's going to be difficult. I remember reading the first part of Gross Anatomy from BD Chaurasia about the clavicle and the scapula. I did not understand a single word, and at that time, I also felt like like how am I going to memorize the things which I can't even read but then in the end I end up getting a gold medal in anatomy so nothing is impossible it might seem difficult in the start but no matter what happens you will prevail if you put your heart into it and of course you will fall in love with the subjects as you read along it usually happens with every single one of us because if you like human physiology in 12th class 11th class then you definitely will like the entire physiology as well as anatomy and biochemistry in first year MBBS right in first year MBBS you also need to worry about something called as the attendance because it is the most important part of your entire college life because if you don't have enough attendance some college just will literally not allow you to get into your university exams you might end up failing a semester so don't do that attendance is pretty important so the standard attendance that usually is mandatory for every MBBS student is there is an 80% attendance for practicals and 75 and above for theory so make sure that you don't miss one out of every four classes and that way you will have standard attendance usually in most colleges it is manipulable and it is adjustable and the departments cooperate a lot with the students but if you are unlucky you might not end up in such a college and you might have to attend literally everything very compulsorily so make sure that you pay attention to your attendance and you will definitely have no problem in the future. I definitely did not pay a lot of attendance for physiology and community medicine and that ended up costing me a bit in terms of my time. Alright, the next thing is that whenever you're in class online or offline, make sure that you're attentive and make sure that you ask a lot of questions. Make sure that the teachers knows that you actually exist in the class because you see what will happen is that if you build a good rapport with the teacher then the teacher will help you a lot during internal examinations and by help I don't mean that they will come and tell you the answers. By help I mean that the viva questions which they're going to 
be asking you are going to be sort of biased because they know that this person knows everything this person has attended the class so overall the experience that you're going to be getting in your final examinations is going to be much smoother if you know the teacher and if you have a good rapport with the teacher so for any classes that you might be attending in med school make sure that you definitely ask your doubts ask your questions read the books and do your homework because if you are good with the teachers then your examination will go awesome the second most important aspect over here is practical so you're going to be having around four or five types of practicals in first year let's talk through each of them first of all in anatomy your favorite dissection everybody loves it in first year mbbs you get to dissect a cadaver that is basically a dead body of a real human being who was once living and they did a great job and donated their bodies so that humans could learn in dissection make sure that you follow the proper attire which is instructed to you in your college in the first day itself you make sure that you respect the body and of course make sure that you also learn and you know try to get your hands on into actually refining and trying to you know sort out your skills uh, in dissection itself because you don't get that sort of experience until later in your journey that is if you are in internship etc so make sure that you are very active in dissections don't be worried everybody goes through this phase of being afraid in the dissection hall but it goes away very very soon personally i would say don't miss a single class of dissection but if it you know so happens then make sure that you at least you know have attended most of the dissection in your college right the next class about anatomy is going to be histology histology is the study of tissues and what you're going to be provided with is a microscope and you're going to be provided with slides so in these slides you'll have to make out what are the different tissues and from what segment of the body they are taken from so it could be liver pancreas spleen etc you have to be able to identify those tissues in the exam itself so histology is very very important it forms the basis of histopathology and also a lot of different things in medicine in the future so all the basic sciences in fact for first year and second year are pretty damn important if you ask me right talking about physiology you have i think three types of practicals over here the first one is hematology and in hematology what do you do is you prick yourself or your friend and you know you examine their blood under the microscope and you try to figure out what is the parameters of you know blood in the physiologic condition so clotting time bleeding time blood group rh group and etc all of that comes under physiology the next type of practicals is the experimental physiology and here what happens is that you are uh, you know allowed to look at different graphs which are obtained from nerve conduction studies muscle action potentials etc so all of these things are under experimental and the last type is the clinical physiology in which you are you know taught about the general examination as well as what are the different parameters for examining the different systems of your body for example the cvs rs git cns so these are the four basic systems and this my friends this very clinical physiology parts come back to you exactly the same in every single subject because you know whenever you go in second year third year you'll have community medicine as well as ent of them next in final year you will have your medicine surgery obgyp pediatrics in all of these subjects the most important part of your examination is the general examination as a well systemic examination so that you are able to narrow down where the disease is pointing towards so make sure that you know these concepts from the very core right in the biochem you're going to have only one type of practical that is the biochemistry lab and in the lab you're going to do very various experiments with different sugars amino acids lipids a dna etc so these are the experiments which will form the basis of your conceptual memory about biochemistry and make sure that biochemistry practicals you attend because i feel like biochemistry department is the sweetest department uh, that you have in any medical college because they are really really cooperative and they really love students like it's literally their responsibility that is usually fading out every year as you go along a right, quick side note are you enjoying this video make sure that you hit the like button if you are definitely enjoying this video and please consider subscribing because it would mean a lot to me and uh, i make videos such as this one which make you happy all right let's come back to our main topic now that the academics part is done i want to emphasize upon something i want you to build a hobby during the first year mbbs because you might be alone in your college from your entire city you might be away from your parents you might not feel the best because it's a new city everybody is new so build a hobby in which you can keep yourself busy so that you acclimatize gradually and gradually and the things which are not really important don't matter to you anymore so personally i would suggest go you know pick up an instrument such as a guitar or drums i know a lot of students who entered the medical college absolutely nascent did not know any skill did not have any hobbies and they are pursuing so many different things and it generally keeps you sane your college might have a sports ground so make sure that you go ahead and enjoy some sports that might be badminton tennis swimming etc you might like to hit the gym go ahead you might to pick up an instrument you might want to pick up a camera if you want to vlog you can basically do anything the potential is limitless and once you're in college you don't have to think about do or die you're going to be a doctor at the end of this so you don't have to worry about anything uh you'll start to worry about neat pg next i get emails from people who have not even cleared neat telling me that okay how will i prepare for next and that's honestly funny because uh till second year or third year most people aren't even serious about neat pg and next etc so don't worry about in first year enjoy your life and pick up a hobby right the next point is very very important and that is ragging so ragging what do you mean by ragging it is basically like a senior is going to call you in your room and he's going to ask you to do weird things not those type of weird things but still weird things indeed so something like you know this is a song you know dance on it or maybe sing a song for me or you know some 
something a bit more than that would be to slap your best friend so something like this and maybe you know he might inquire you about um, the random person's name and roll number and batch so these are a few things which happen in ragging i mean this is a pretty serious issue but most of the times just imagine it to be a fun activity which you are having with your elder brother or sister because i have a lot of young cousins around me in my family and all the time i try to trouble them around because it's honestly very very funny so don't take it uh, very very seriously it's just your elder brother or sister who's trying to just have some fun with you and just to get to know you but make sure that it does not go overdose because guys even something as sweet as sugar in overdose causes diabetes so if you are you know joking around with it after the activity is over and you are having a lot of fun with it and the entire part of your batch is involved and it's nothing personal it's well and good go with it it's the personality development program which i was talking about earlier and if it is not if it is not like that if it is involving a lot of violence if it is involving something that you are not comfortable with or if it's seriously impacting your mental health make sure that you ask the senior please mere se nahi hoga please mujhe maaf kar do and if it, that does not also solve we can go to the authorities they will take care of it now this is a serious topic which i feel like many people might be relating to it but make sure that if it's all fun and games you don't have to worry about it every medical student goes through this phase and it you know makes you mature it makes you capable of handling things in your life in the future itself the situation in jms and akro is pretty bad in like 80s or 70s and at that time ragging was at the peak and it caused a lot of trouble for every student who was getting admission in our college especially but now the situation has drastically changed i don't think there is any sort of ragging present in our college at the moment which is you know of the serious nature uh, because uh, we decided to break the trend from our batch so we did not rag anybody so of course the next batch won't rag and the next batch won't rag so it is a cascading movement along the batches you just have to decide for yourself that what you feel is wrong is wrong itself i personally have never ever ragged a student i consider them all to be my friends i don't even make them call me sir or bhau whatever because i feel like you and me we are the same body we are on the same board and just because i took admission into mbbs like two or three years before you it does not make me you know that much senior to you i'm not like 10 years older than you so that's right that's all right with me but of course there won't be seniors like me all around you so make sure that you're careful and enjoy the process that's what i'm going to say with the ragging part right let's talk about the next part that is money and money is very important because you're going to be living outside and most of you guys are going to be li- living in either in hostels or around the college area in your personal rooms all of this is going to cost money in a standard city like nagpur you're going to face around 5 to 6000 rupees in rent if you're living alone less if you're living together with your bunch of friends and uh, any standard tiffin which you're going to be you know taking home uh, is going to cost you around 80 to 100 rupees if it's a standard one you can imagine that the cost of living outside your homes can be pretty high but it's okay there are a few things which you can do to reduce that first of all if you can get the hostel get the hostel and government hostels they are very very cheap the electricity bill is low the living cost is low and the food is also digestible so don't worry about it if you are going to end up outside the hostels make sure that you get in with a group of friends and all of you guys live together that way you can save cost on accommodation as well as living situations make sure that you have some dabbas in place and if you order together you are going to save a lot of money but there's another way that you can reduce the cost of living outside and that is by earning some sort of money so if you're like me you take a lot of notes about literally everything that you read about you just pick up your copy and start making notes what if i told you that the notes which you already made that are absolutely of no use to you right now can be very useful to somebody else who is going through the same thing which you once were that's right using the website called as crayons you can actually upload the digital copies of your notes into the website and any student who wants to get your notes can do so by paying you the amount that you've listed on the site it's a quick and easy way to set up a passive income stream for anybody who is a student because every student makes notes and every other student needs notes and all of this is very very easy to set up apart from that crayons is the largest student peer learning community in india and it is completely driven by students you can connect with students of your university and the universities all across india in fact you can also ask your doubts on crayons and get them solved within minutes by the community and most of all you can get any notes of your university by genuine people who have uploaded them without the need of asking them apart from that you can also search for the notes that you might need from creators who have uploaded them on the platform you can get a chance to become a certified doubt solver and note creator of the community on crayons and earn stipend for each of that don't miss an opportunity to be the part of the biggest community of students and yes it is absolutely free to sign up on the platform crayons you can use the link which is provided in the description which will take you directly to the platform thank you crayons for sponsoring this segment right moving on to our next point that is taking care of your mind and your mind is the biggest asset that you have in a foreign city surrounded by different sort of people the culture is different you don't know the language it can be a bit difficult for you and therefore i suggest these five things to anybody who is entering the medical college first one get a hobby pick up an instrument do something with your time so that you don't have to think about the things which are bothering you also you might gain a new skill in the process second go out with friends like go out with friends that's the entire deal about college you don't have to worry about it like school go out with friends enjoy parties enjoy getaways enjoy trips that you might take with your friends because these will last a lifetime third be open in your life let anybody come to your room sit with you have a word that way they will get comfortable 
comfortable with you and so will you get comfortable with them fourth participate in the quizzes and participate in clubs which you feel are suited to you for example i love to be in the quiz club if you are somebody who likes to dance go ahead join the dance club if you are good with magazines join the magazine club the possibility is endless and you know you can do anything with your life and lastly most important fifth one find your kind of people the people that you vibe with and that is going to happen mostly by trial and error and mostly by error so be open to talk to anybody because uh, just a saying i didn't even like abhijit when we first met in anatomy quiz because he was a very nerdy kid at that time and later i found out that i am also equally nerdy and now it's been 3 years since we first became friends right the last point my friends is the most important point of this entire video you are not in college to just study and study you are in college to enjoy your life and my friends i so wish that i was a first year mbba student forever because it is the best part of your life it is the part where you don't have to worry about neat pg you have just cleared your new tug and you are the hero of your town you'll see your posters everywhere basically you you are absolutely free at that point you're not going to feel like that ever again in your entire mbbs so make sure that you enjoy each and every second of that you'll meet a lot of friends and probably end up with a girl that you like go on a lot of trips and enjoy your adventure see patients and hear the stories that will touch your heart and study like an absolute crazy person right before the exams mbbs is the best course in the world it does not just teach you how to be a doctor it teaches you how to live life and how to value it it makes you a better human as you care about another humans more than you did before entering the course and as a senior i welcome you to this awesome journey It really feels like yesterday when I first entered my medical college and fell absolutely in love with it. And that day was one of the best days of my entire life. So make sure that the days which are going to be coming ahead of you, you cherish those, you enjoy those moments because those are the best things that you're going to have in your entire life. Welcome to MBBS, my friends. And if you want me to make a video about the campus tour of GMC Nagpur, please let me know down below, you know, I'll do that. Anyways, it's your boy Anuj. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please please do so because these videos take a lot of time, effort and energy to produce and subscribing would just take you like Two seconds. All right. So before you guys go, there's a link in the description that will point you towards Crayons, where you can set up a passive income stream very easily. And I'll be uploading my first year as well as second year MBBS notes over there, so you can you know use them for your own benefit. Chalo, see you. The thumbnail is not at all clickbait. These are all the anatomy books you need, associated books you'll use in your exams. In here, you've got again biochemistry, anatomy, then we physiology, biochemistry once again. So it is not at all clickbait. Thanks for watching. Bye.